Hey y'all, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. And I'm here to do actually a really, really quick mini reading for love for May of 2016. Okay, so I'm really excited about this one because um, it'll give me some time. I'm starting with the Pisces for you guys, okay? So we're going to be looking at a three-card spread. I'm going to use my Pagan uh, Tarot deck, okay? Um, link to this deck is in the video description box if you want to order it and place your order. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. It was something that I wanted to tell you and I'll remember it in a minute. I hope you guys like the new setup and the tulip, you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick three-card spread. Um, the theme of this month Coming up for May and also starting now is hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. So there's going to be a reading that's going to go up for um, the remaining of this month. Um, I'm going to use the Deviant Tarot deck for that reading. Um, or I might decide to use the Pagan, but probably, probably use the Deviant. Um, and I'll explain more about what I'm talking about with that. So I'm just shuffling for the Pisces and we're gonna look at past, present, and future. So again, this is a mini reading, so it's not gonna be as detail-oriented or detailed, not detail-oriented, but detailed. So we're gonna look at the past. These are um, events in the past that still affect you, how your past is blocking you from growth and moving forward. Um, what you need to take from your past and use to your advantage. So that's alchemy, turning the negative into a positive. Um, present, like what's going on right now, the energy, the opportunities and challenges that are being presented to you. And future is the outcome of the situation or the direction that things seem to be moving and what you're wanting. So again, this is a three card spread. It's very insightful, but I'm gonna make this less than 10 minutes, as short as possible. Um, and I wanted to start with the Pisces because when I make my longer ones, it just really causes uh, people to wait and wait and wait. And I'm gonna be uploading these as I record them. So um, I'm done shuffling. So I'm going to cut and then something is telling me, which is the spirits. Let's split them in three. Okay, so I've got three piles. Let me make it so that you can see them. Okay, you see that? So... It's a three card spread. You really can't see it, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, past, present, and future. So I'm going to turn over the past, and um, I'm sensing that in the past there was um, some kind of ending of something, of a cycle, um, Pisces, for you. Um, if you pay attention to your full... Um, free general reading for May. Um, I don't know why there's not a lot of light. I'm going to have to turn on my... Um, uh, I really just wanted to... Um, give me a second, guys. I'm just going to fill up my lantern so that I can have some more light. Um, because I've got everything closed. So the death card is about transformation. Um, in the Pagan Tarot, it's about some sort of rite of passage. So, it, depending on the surrounding cards, um, we're not sure if that, you know, I'm not sure yet. Let me turn them over, I'm sorry. I want to look more into them. Whenever I get a major arcana, I want to look at the surrounding cards before I make a judgment. As you um, guys already know, um, I want to say thank you to my clients and to everyone who has gotten a reading 
thank you so much. I have done some wonderful readings and have helped some people. Spirits are always leading you guys to me because that's what I am here for. Okay? Um, so, presently, we've got the judgment. So, Pisces, you've got a lot going on, a lot of you, as far as with your love life. Um, I would say that in the past, um, as far as with the death card, with the meaning, as far as in the context of love, okay, um, this is either the end of a cycle or the end of the relationship. So some of you may have left some situations that were not good for you in the past. Okay, or either you're currently um, doing so. Okay, there we go, guys. Now you guys can see because <laughs> this little salt candle, someone suggested that I get this and I did it. So, um, and it does help with allergies and my voice is getting better and better as the weather is getting better because I did have a little cold. So, and I never get sick hardly. Sickness doesn't really manifest in me as it does others. You know, it, it you know, and also I, um, anyway, so let's move on to your reading. I want to do this in 10 minutes or less than I was going to try to, but just to give you a glimpse of what you're probably going to see during your um, full reading for this channel for May, which I'm going to put up in about a week. Um, it seems like a lot of you Pisces were clinging to an unhappy relationship. You were deeply unhappy with the situation surrounding that relationship and you left it in the past and um i don't really see your past as holding you back but it might and i'm going to tell you why and so you may want to look into this pisces because um this is the past this is how your past either holds you back or blocks you okay um, so how your past is holding you back um, In the past It was, it's no longer holding you back You've went through a growth proce a Process already in the past Pisces Okay um, But these Energies and events May still be affecting you Okay And so the reading is going to tell you What you need to take from the past And use to your advantage today and this is your ability to leave something behind that no longer suits you. Um, this is transformation, rebirth, and freedom from some sort of oppressive situation. In fact, the death card could mean that this person caused you deep, deep unhappiness. Okay, I, I'm being serious when I'm looking at this reading. Um, so some of you may have just recently lost your partner or maybe you lost your partner in a past. Maybe you lost your husband or your wife. Um, some of you Pisces with your love life, you may have been having some sort of secret love affair that was causing a lot of problems in your life and you had to let it go because this person probably was bringing disease and sickness in your life. And you probably discovered secrets about this person that did not sit well with you. I mean, they may have been okay for someone else to accept, but that person was just not for you. And this is something that you accepted in the past. But presently, you, you, you have the judgment card. So this is creeping back up for you. It's going to creep back up for you in May. I'm going to let you know that right now, this person is probably going to either come back in spirit or physical. And you have to be prepared for them. You have to make a judgment and you have to be clear with that person what you want. Real talk, because you know what? This person is not good for you. And to be honest with you, um, you're going to make a decision on that relationship. And you're not going to be able to deal with it. Some up for some of you Pisces out there, okay? Um, 
there's a whole lot I could tell you about this card, but this is a quick reading. So I'm not going to really be able to go into that. But in the context of love, I'll tell you this quickly. Um, this is a make or break period. So some of you may be on the verge of leaving that relationship. Now, some of you might be jumping to conclusions too fast. Don't make fast choices. Take your time, okay? Slow down. Give people more chances because you might be judging somebody unfairly. So you're going through an amazing spiritual awakening right now. Now, I do see you with this five of cups. This is not good. Okay, so the judgment card in position of the present is what is going on for you right now. The energy that is present at the moment. Opportunities and challenges that are currently being presented to you. In May, there's going to be something creeping back from the past and it may be coming from a past life. It might even be a past love. Okay? Somebody you were very in love with, but they hurt you a lot. And you were sacrificing yourself for this person. You gave your all. And you were basically like a masochist in this relationship for some of you. And I've seen some Pisces do that because they're so uh, self-sacrificing and they always want to be the martyr. And they have the, the tendency to get stuck on something that probably isn't the best thing for them because they're constantly going in two different directions with their emotions. So the judgment card shows up. You're going to review your past in May. So you're going to be doing some soul searching, which is really a good thing. But this five of cups, this is going to bring you some unhappiness. You're going to be missing this person. You see that? There's a woman. She's got three of her plants or knocked over. She's in her garden. She's got three knocked over. She's obviously just basically harping over it because, I mean, it's like, I mean, lady, just either pick them up and, and fix it or move on with the two that you have left. And I think that this is an excellent, um, I love this tarot deck. I need to find the cover for you guys, which is the little cover it comes in. This is what it looks like when you go to my website. The link is in the video description box. <laughs> um, this is somebody that just can't let go of the past, the bad things in the past. <coughs> and so there's a lot more that I could tell you about this card. But in the context of love, you know, this is not a good feeling. And so if you're in a current relationship, Pisces, this could affect you. So if you're in a relationship with a Pisces and they start going through some stuff to where they start getting um, real distant from you, then you know that whatever it is that's going on does not have nothing to do with you, okay? And this says that a love relationship you are in may have just ended or may be about to start the process of ending. You must realize that all is not lost. You're probably not yet ready to move into a new relationship. Give yourself time and space. And some of you might be jumping to conclusions too fast. Some of you may be feeling unhappy about your relationships. You might have a partner that is going to feel this way about you. So you need to watch your energy in May because, you know, around the summertime, people start breaking up. <laughs> And you don't want to have an unhappy summer, Pisces. So um, that's going to conclude this reading. It was longer than what I thought, but I hope you enjoyed it. This is your mini reading for May. You got your full reading coming up. If you want a personal reading um, and you are having this, um, this is, oh, let me tell you, the five of um, chalices. Um, this is reacting to a loss and moving forward. So there is a positive um, possibility with this card, but you just got to quit harping or, or crying over spilled milk. Um, look at what, the, look at the things that you do have and quit focusing on the things that you don't have. Look, you need to start looking at the glasses half full and not half empty. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye Pisces.